Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is build 25262 for Windows Insiders on the Dev channel So the one change with this build is you can now get these widgets without a Microsoft account So if you're not using a Microsoft account you, you can access those But that's it There's one other change in settings so the other change is here is the quick assistance for a friend uh, in settings in the troubleshoot section. So the rest of the changes are just fixes. So there is a fix for um, widgets not working correctly and uh, secondary dri devices, secondary drives not uh, viewable. So if you went into File Explorer, you wouldn't see a secondary device um, and that's that's been fixed. They fixed some issues with uh, Taskbar. And that's where certain things, uh, like if you, if you're, um, so if you were searching for, say, bat files or dot command files or something like that, uh, you'd have to backspace for it to complete the search. But they they fixed that. They fixed some file explorer issues where it would crash when in over recent settings, and uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi settings wouldn't display correctly. Now there are some known issues with this build still. Um, they're removing audio issues from the list actually so audio issues were on this known issues list for, for some time uh, Microsoft finally got rid of those because uh, I think they've resolved all those I've not had any issues with um, with the microphones uh, with audio issues from day one actually but they, they've done that um, they're still looking at issues with uh, casting using Win Windows K um, that's where you can cast your screen from one PC uh, to another and they're looking at some issues with the system tray, uh, with especially around tablet optimization modes, and some issues with searching on taskbar. Uh, that's it, really. That's all the changes. Not a huge amount to show you. And I'd like to show you more features, but there aren't anything. anything or there isn't anything to show you. The um, the screen um, snip tool has actually had an update. I've got a separate video on that, but you can actually now uh, record uh, the screen. Not just, in fact, it hasn't been updated on this machine yet, I don't think. But I've got a separate video on our YouTube channel on that. So you can actually record the, the screen with it. I think I just need to update the app and it'll uh, go to Windows Store and update the app and you'll see that. But anyway, check out that video on our YouTube channel along with all the others. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.